The police in the UK is divided into 43 independent police constabularies. The police force covering Peterborough and Fenland is called Cambridgeshire Constabulary. Some parts of Fenland are also covered by Norfolk and Lincolnshire Police. Surrounding forces to Cambridgeshire are Norfolk, Suffolk, Lincolnshire and Bedfordshire. There are a number of ways to contact the police. 101 to be used for non-emergency calls. 999 to be used strictly for emergency calls. When you dial this number, you will be asked whether you require police, ambulance or fire service. Once you state your preference, you will be connected to the relevant call centre. Crime Stoppers is an online or telephone service allowing people to report crimes anonymously. The phone number is 0800 555 1 and the website is Police Inquiry Office. You can report crimes and incidents in person at the Inquiry Office. These are not all open 24 hours a day. You can find your local Inquiry Office at the following addresses. March and Chatteris, Wisbeach, Peterborough. There are three main types of officers within the police service. Police Constable, PC. Constables or officers wear either police uniforms or occasionally can work in plain clothes. If they wear plain clothes, they must be able to identify themselves with a warrant card. Police officers can drive both marked and unmarked vehicles. Police Community Support Officer PCSO. Community officers are part of the police service. Their main role is building relationships and trust with communities and crime prevention. Special Constable SC. Special constables are police volunteers with the same powers as regular police officers. Special constables do their duty voluntarily, therefore they don't receive any wages. This position is an ideal opportunity for people who want to participate on creating a safer society and to acquire new, useful skills. All officers have their own number that they can be identified by. The number is called collar number or shoulder number. The number is often displayed on the officer's uniform, normally on their shoulders. You can note the officer's collar number should you need to refer to an encounter with the officer. The age of criminal responsibility in England and Wales is from 10 years of age. In Scotland, the age of criminal responsibility is from 8 years, but children can only be prosecuted from the age of 12. Police officers and community officers have a power to stop and or search people and vehicles in certain circumstances. You can only be searched by police officers and special constables. Community officers can only stop you and detain you, however they must be in their full uniform to be able to exercise this power. Officers can use force to conduct a stop and search if you refuse. Officers can stop you and ask you to explain the following. What you are doing why you are in a certain area, if you have anything on you that you shouldn't have. Officers must have a good reason to search you. This could be because they suspect you have the following articles on you or near you. Drugs, weapons or stolen items. Items that could be used in crime, in the act of terrorism or to commit criminal damage. Before an officer starts searching you, they must inform you of the following. You are detained for the purpose of search. Under what legislation they are searching you? Your rights. Name and collar number of the searching officer. Name of the police station that the officer is working from. The reason that led them to their belief that you have one of the illegal articles. What item they are searching you for. Your right to have a copy of the search record. If you are arrested by a police officer, they must tell you what offence you have committed or are suspected of committing, your rights, the necessity for your arrest. If you are under arrest, you are entitled to free and independent legal advice and to an interpreter. People under arrest are transported to the nearest police station with cells, either Peterborough, Wisbeach, March or Kings Lynn. Officers can use reasonable force to make an arrest and can also force entry into a vehicle or a house. If you are unhappy with the service you have received from the police, you can make a complaint. 
there are a number of options on how to make a complaint. Direct contact with the police. You can call 101 or visit your local police station. Your complaint will be managed by an officer of a rank of sergeant or higher, or they might forward it to an internal professional standards department who, depending on the severity of the complaint, may refer it to the IOPC. Independent Office for Police Conduct, IOPC, oversees the police complaint system in England and Wales. They investigate the most serious matters, including deaths following police contact, and set the standards by which the police should handle complaints. IOPC are independent and make their decisions entirely independently of the police and government. You can find out how to make a complaint on their website. You can find more details about the police in Cambridgeshire or to report a crime on their website.